Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to be talking about Metal Gear Solid 4. It's uh, the end of the road for Solid Snake. This is his last game and uh, I kind of feel sad about it because uh, I recorded all these episodes today. So, you know, I kind of feel like I've gone through all the Metal Gear games again. I did actually do that back in 2012, I think in August or whatever. I went through every single Metal Gear game. So that was, that was pretty fucking nuts, but it was awesome too. And that was the last time I went through Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 came out June... God, what was it? June 11th, I think, 2008. And I actually bought my PS3 June 10th, 2008. But yeah, Walmart had like a crazy-ass deal going on if you bought a... Um, if you buy a PS3, you got like a hundred dollar gift certificate or gift card or whatever. And uh, so yeah, I went and bought that. Got a DualShock controller because only pussies play games without vibration. And uh, I think I bought Silent Hill Origins and some other thing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a great buy. And uh, next day, got the collector's edition of Metal Gear Solid Fella. Um, Metal Gear Solid 4 is an absolutely great game. Soundtrack's great. The cast of characters is great. Basically, everyone who's still alive from Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2 is in this one. A lot of people from Metal Gear Solid 3 actually is in this one too. Um, the action is very damn good. I didn't think this one had as many great action moments as Metal Gear Solid 3 did, which is probably why Metal Gear Solid 3 is still my favorite game of all time. But uh, this one definitely had some cool uh, cool moments. Well, it's actually got, near the end, the greatest video game moment in history. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't done it, but anyone who's done it ought to know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Um... The voice acting is absolutely tremendous in this one. What David Hayter does with Solid Snake's voice in this one is great. Basically, Solid Snake, I think, is like... Well, the game takes place in 2014, so I think he's like 42 years old in this one. So, uh, and he's basically prematurely aging, so he's really got like the body of a 70-year-old. And he's... You know, he only weighs like 130 pounds, so he's just kind of wasting away right before your eyes. So it's kind of kind of hard to watch, especially for his friends, you know, in the game. That's very hard for them to just see what the hell's happened to Solid Snake. And it's later revealed in the game why he's uh, prematurely aging. So that's uh, definitely a big part of the game. And basically, Snake is just trying to end it. You know, trying to finish the fight that he started back in, uh, I guess, either Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid, either way you want to look at it. And, uh, you know, it's just, the story's great. Um, script is great. The uh, gun selection in this game is holy fucking shit. I guess the only other game that has uh, such a wide variety uh, and selection of guns is maybe like, I don't know, Battlefield 4. I mean, you get to use all kinds of stuff in this game. There's like fucking like 12 different pistols you can use for crying out loud. I mean, you get to use like almost every gun that's around basically. So it's just crazy. And uh, the sneaking suit is very fun in this one. Basically, it, uh, it's like a digital camo, whatever you're leaning against. The entire suit mimics to kind of hide you and stuff. So that's pretty fun. Uh, I didn't think this one was as violent as some of the other ones. Like... Um, the color of blood in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 kind of pissed me off. It looked like pink lemonade. I was like, what the fuck? But uh, still some uh, pretty uh, crazy things you get to do in this one. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's just an amazing, amazing game. This was Chili's favorite Metal Gear Solid game. And uh can't really argue too much with him on that one. But I still think Metal Gear Solid 3 is the best. But uh, yeah. So this is uh, just an amazing game. You definitely have to check it out. I'm probably forgetting some other cool stuff to talk about, but uh, yeah, just take my word for it. If you haven't played it, play it. And if you have played it, go and play it again. Okay? It's fucking great. It's my second favorite game of all time. So yeah, check it out.